threw, I know he threw a punch. I don't know if he hit me on the shoulder or what, but I slipped. And uh, when I slipped, I, I was like, that was a slip. And then the next thought was, uh-oh. And then Jack Reese said, it was a slip. And I said, thank you, Jack, because that was a slip. You know, and I, I got up, and I just wanted to jump to let everyone know. If you thought, you know, something bad went, went down with Sean Porter, it did not go down. Uh, I felt great the entire fight. And uh, that was just one moment where I, I, took, a, I took a step. And uh, this, this, the, the flooring wasn't right for me at that, that moment. But, uh, I mean, I got up uh, off of that and uh, continued to fight. When you said oh, you jumped, did you say that because you felt the word? We felt comfortable, and I'm, ne I'm never going to not listen to my dad. Um, I, and there were just a couple rounds where I was like, what's going on? What's going on? And he, and he felt comfortable. He felt like uh, we were winning the fight, doing what I was doing, and uh, he wanted me to continue that. So. Do you feel like your time is um, I think at points, I think at points, I, I don't know if I allowed him to... Um, he started to counter me probably halfway through the fight more than a little more than halfway through the fight maybe around seven or eight he started to counter me and uh, I picked up on it and I started making the right move for it but then I wasn't capitalizing after that you know so and that's how boxing is boxing's like that and so it was my fault when I going back to that, that immediate snap you know so I do I think that there were a few few points uh, in the fight where I could have changed things a little bit more um, but again, um, you know, we, we did what we thought we needed to do. Were you frustrated with the game plan for tonight? No, not frustrated at all. What was the game plan for tonight? The game plan tonight was to do what we were doing <laughs> the entire fight. But the game plan was to use the foot movement, use the hand speed, set up the power, turn him onto the corners and the ropes. And um, my dad just, it got to the point where he thought the jab was elusive enough. He thought the foot speed was good enough and movement was good enough. He says, we don't need to force anything. And it wasn't a matter of my dad wanting to be safe. It was a matter of him wanting to take the chance when the chance was there. And I don't think, I think my dad is smart enough to know that he didn't feel the need to take any chances and, uh, you know, uh, do any more than, than we were doing. And he told me that. He said, I don't think uh, you did everything you needed to do to me. I don't think you need to do any, any more. I don't know if you saw it, but um, Spence retweeted a video where you guys were very happy that you made weight. Yeah. And he said, y'all act like, like I heard that. Fight it. So yeah. What do you think of that in front of him on March 16th? I'll be in Dallas. I'll be down there. Yeah. Sean, do you feel like for a unification you could go to another level or what you had tonight would be enough to, to win a big fight? Like no, nope, got to go to another level. Got to go to another level. And I think we have been able to do that for, for a long time. We've been able to improve. Uh, I can't tell you how long it's been. We've been, you know, fight after fight improving. But I do know we've taken steps up every fight. Uh, I think if you're going to fight... Uh, Errol Spence, fight like that, uh, has to be a little bit, you got to dig down a little bit deeper, uh, be a little bit more precise, and uh, and um, and uh, and go for it a little bit more. I don't think just moving against Errol Spence is the way you fight him. Um, Keith Thurman, uh, I honestly, I think you got to mix some of that in with Keith Thurman. Keith, is, Keith likes to move, you know, he likes to play, he likes to play that uh, cat, cat, cat and mouse and catch me if you can and catch up once I get ahead type of stuff so you know what we did tonight I think if anything was just uh, was what we had to do against you Dennis Ugas I think it um, answered some questions for us in terms of conditioning in terms of uh, you know doing something after weight loss and all that kind of stuff none of that uh, was in our minds at all and um, you know when we get in the ring we're, we're solid rock so if you should um, decide yeah, you, to demand you give it to me Dennis no sir Go for it. You mentioned that you had to do this with your Dennis Ugas. Was this style complicated? Was it awkward for you? Getting it, adapting to it? I know his height, his reach. You no, know, I told someone, I, I told uh, my coach, uh, my assistant coach, uh, strength and conditioning, uh, Larry Way, I told him, if I can get this guy to put his hands down, if I can get this guy to kind of get out of himself, then I, I, I think I'll have a, I'll, I'll be in his head and I'll be able to get this done. And he came out the gate like that. He came out the gate, I don't know if he was trying to psych himself up, I know he was really pumped up for the fight, but the hands were down, he's, sh he's shaking out and all that kind of stuff. And that's not the typical Yudin Zugas we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing hands up the entire fight and uh, I'm coming after you. And um, so it, I think, at one way or another, I think that you know him knowing what I could do, I think he came out and might have kind of psyched himself out a little bit. 
because he was expecting me to be a little bit more flashy and I think he was you know trying to keep up with that and I think the jab was really really effective this fight. Do you feel that you separated from himself like you're level above him that's why mom given the rematch how do you feel about the performance overall? Um, no, I don't want to rematch with you, Dennis, because I am looking at Errol Spence. I am looking at Mike Pacquiao, and I am looking at Keith Thurman. Um, you know, obviously, if this fight didn't go our way, then those plans would be spoiled, and I would have to revisit that that uh, that, that lane. But um, we got this win. I personally think we got it decisively. Um, anybody that is disappointed because they didn't see me throw 100 punches around, disappointed because they didn't see me going after you, Dennis, like I went after Keith Thurman, or... Danny Garcia or uh, uh, Pauli Marant, anything like that. And hey, it's 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 you you just you're, you're you're sore about it, you know. But you can't fight every fight the same, and that's what we did. We made some adjustments and we stuck with our adjustments. Is there anything you'd want to say to, to people who watched the fight and, and doubt that you won the fight? Uh, I don't think I don't think there's anything I can do to convince anyone out there that I won the fight. I don't think it was a uh, champion decision. I don't think um, it was a favorable decision because, you know, I have the bigger name or anything like that at all. I think that uh, this was a fair shake. I think that your Dennis did a, a, a terrific job coming into the way he did. And, um, you know, if you, if you if you think, you, you feel let down, just wait on the next one. Are, are, are these mandatory titles, are they sometimes trap fights because you're, you're maybe not as able to get as excited or motivated? No, wasn't, I wasn't not excited or anything like that at all, at all against you, your Dennis. I can hear him in the other room, his, his team's cheering for him and, and rooting him on and all that. And the only thing I kept reminding myself is that not every team's the same, not everyone gets prepared the same, uh, acts the same, acts out the same, anything like that. So while they're hooping and hollering, I stayed to myself, stayed in my, in my concentration focus mode, and I went out there and did what I had to do. I think uh, I was focused during the fight and uh, listening to my corner, and I think it played out the way we needed it to play out. I don't think there was anything, my weight, me not making weight the first time is not a reflection of how I um, uh, measured out your Dennis Ugas. I did not take him lightly at all. And it was just a situation where I wasn't on point uh, on, on time and I had to do a little bit more. How do you feel to, to still have the WBC world title? I got it, man. Um, the only thing, again, the only thing I didn't want to hear was split draw. Even that wouldn't have meant I would have kept the belt, but then you would have all these, uh, you know, discrepancies about who won the fight. I think I won the fight, hands down. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say what every every fighter says. Take a look at it, and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I, I, I'm gonna take a look at it, but I'm, I want to improve from it, like I do with every fight. Uh, but I think, especially me and my dad are gonna take a look at this uh, and see, you know, try to see what the judges were saying. For me, my, my perspective when I watch myself, I try to look at it outside of myself and. What what it could what could have caught the judges' eyes? What would have made them think or feel or whatever? So we'll see. Do you expect to um, weight wise in your next fight? Do you think you have any kind of issues about no, that? No sir, no sir. This was um, it was a timing thing, man. I just I messed up my timing. What in particular? And, um, like what timing? How like? Uh, you know, it's hard to it's hard to say uh, because if you don't do what I do, if you don't know my program and my and my protocol, then it's, then it's hard to. Yeah, but uh, I just, the protocol started a little late, and that was on my behalf. I think, if anything, I might have uh, maybe just underestimated my, my time compared to my protocol. Yeah, it's out the way, man. Um, you know, the best thing about it is I went in there, I obviously gave a valiant effort, and I don't think anyone could see that I gassed out or anything like that. There's no, 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 uh, no, no, um, no excuses or anything like that at all. Fight's over now. It's yes, sir. A at the welterweight division, fights that can be made for you. Which fights are you looking to get to next? Three. Uh, Errol Spence, I think Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. No particular order. I think all those are fantastic fights for me, uh, and I look forward to any of those three uh, next. Which one do you feel strongest in? Uh, maybe Keith because he's been out a little, a little, a little while. Um, Manny's, you know, he's a little older, so he's on the back end. Uh, I've been in the ring with him, so he, he really knows what I got. Errol Spence, um, you know, he's only got 24 fights. I didn't even realize that until today. So maybe uh, maybe an experience factor right there, you know. So every fight you got to take a look at. And, you know, I obviously will follow uh, the, the, the direction of my dad and, and the rest of uh, you know, my management team and all that kind of stuff. And, 
we just, um, you know, I've said it before, if you guys haven't heard, my goal from here out is to win every fight until I retire. And um, I'm not taking anyone lightly, I can't. And uh, I'm here to do this as long as I can and be on top as long as I can. I have to throw it out there. Where does Crawford fall in line? You potentially fighting him? Uh, just overall. Myself and, and, um, and Terrence, you know, if, if that fight is, is made, it's going to be made because myself and Terrence want that fight made. I'm not calling him out. Um, I respect him. I'm not afraid of him. But I will tell you that he has uh, definitely overlooked in the what to wait division. He's definitely one of the best fighters out there in the world. What do you think about his fight against Amir uh, Khan? Uh, I think it's going to be a competitive fight for a couple rounds, and I think Terrence is going to take over. Honestly, man, I'm a fan of Terrence, and I'm not, you know, not kissing his butt or anything like that. I'm just keeping it real. Um, we, we've known each other for a while, yada, yada, yada. But when you watch the dude fight, he really is something special. And, um, you know, it's only a, a matter of time before he gets a fair shake in this boxing game. I think he's overlooked, underrated. Um, and um, I'm looking forward to, to that fight. The only fight he has, uh, again, if him and I fight, it's because him and I decide to fight. Nobody's going to force him and I to fight. Would he be a tougher fight this time? I don't know. Those are two different. Those are two different styles. I got to get ready for for either style. I know what I what I'm capable of, and so it's hard to say which fight will be tougher. You got to get ready for each one. And lastly, Sean, where did Ugas rank tonight in, in toughest fight? Ugas is just that. He's tough, and uh, honestly, um, I, I've respected him for a long time. I respect uh, uh, Louis de Cubis and his entire team. Uh, I know he's been waiting on this opportunity for a long time, and I hope he does not give up and he decides to go a different direction and tries to get another belt. I believe in him. I believe he can do it. And um, trust me, it just wasn't happening here tonight. God bless you guys. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.